Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning, here tonight to chat about this new Pine Grove album, Marigold. Pine Grove are a New Jersey-based indie rock band, who at first really caught me off guard with their very distinct throwback indie rock sound. Their debut, Meridian, wasn't really gussied up, didn't have a lot of pizzazz to it, but it had a ton of heart. Not to mention their classic approach to indie rock just seemed really spot on. I had a lot of the same feelings, even more so on their follow-up, 2016's Cardinal. The performances here continue to be so passionate and just something about this album really took me back to a simpler time. And 2018 Skylight Way was their softest album yet, something that I didn't think I was going to be too fond of. But it seriously was a very emotionally draining and intense album that I ended up loving just as much. Now from the sound of these singles, we're getting more of the same on this album, but is that really such a bad thing? Let's chat about it. This album starts off with dotted line and right off the bat, you kind of know what you're getting into when you sign up for a Pine Grove album. The patient riff is sweet, and Evan Stevens Hall sounds just about as passionate as ever on vocals. Not to mention, over the years, one thing Pine Grove have certainly gotten better at is their harmonies, and here they're spot on. Now, I do sort of get the feeling that this isn't maybe as direct or as urgent as some of their early work. But this track is just so wholesome, so heartwarming, so simple. And some of the little details here work so great from the rising tension that leads up to the chorus and the backing synths. This track is great. Sure, it's not as urgent, but once again, it brings me back to a simpler time. No Drugs took a little bit longer to grow on me. It's a very whimsical tune, it's very sweet on the ears. But it's actually one of the most genuinely real and emotionally draining tracks of the bunch. The performances are super captivating, and when this track picks up and gets a little oomph to it, it sounds really great as well. And Moment may be my favorite track here. I love how anthemic and full of momentum this track is. And these choruses are so heartfelt that I can't help but belt them out every time they roll around. This is just the sort of big, bold, indie tune that I really needed right now. On the other hand, Hairpin is really smooth. It's silky and incredibly tender, and I love the vocals here. But as sweet as this track is, and as tender and light on the ears as it is, some of the rougher guitar tones that pop in for the chorus are a really great treat as well. It's simple for sure, but it does make me feel all warm and cozy, and I appreciate that. And Phase is a really great surprise. This one packs a real punch to it. Between the gritty riff and the real serious groove that follows, Pine Grove can really grow on this in the future. It's soaring and sunny, and I really love that little snarl that they add in for the vocals here. And not to mention, most importantly, this track kind of reels back in something that the band has lost sight of a little bit, and that's like the throwback sound, that, that late 90s indie rock sound. It's all here. All of this I wouldn't mind hearing a lot more of. But sadly, I do feel like, at least in some parts, some of the magic that really brought me into Pine Grove's good graces years ago has faded. Spiral is really aggravating. Like, this is really bad. This sounds like a genuine Lumineers track for a while. But even outside of that, this is 56 seconds that could have been something bigger and better. The Alarmist has a lot going for it. I think that the lyrics here really hit home, and it's so heartfelt overall. But it's times like this that I just kind of wish that Pine Grove would push their sound a little bit further. Yeah, that southern twang has come full circle, but this really doesn't go anywhere. I'm okay with the ballad and all every once in a while, but this just really isn't it. Endless, on the other hand, is super flat. Like, this is the musical equivalent to someone letting the air out of your tires. It just slugs along so slowly with no progression whatsoever. It's times like this that I hear this and I hear the debate that indie rock is kind of losing some of its ideas that made it so great. And yeah, I kind of have to agree. And Alcove is the blandest track in sight, honestly. This just sort of sounds like recycled ideas from the rest of this album. It's not necessarily that bad, especially with some of these harmonies. But outside of that, I can't tell the difference between, that, between this track and some of the other tracks here. No personality. I don't know. It's tracks like this that, yeah, the magic to me is really wearing off a bit. Now, late in the album, I am really into Neighbor. I love just how jangly and breezy this track is. Really nice on the ears. It's also on the bubblier side of Pine Grove's music, and these harmonies are freaking great. Not only that, but as far as lyrics go, I think these are the best on the album. They're simultaneously a little biting and snarky and show a little attitude from Pine Grove, so that you don't see too much. Yeah, this is just a really great track. But I don't know, man. Then we get this title track of a finale. It's a six-minute instrumental finale. And to be honest, 
there are some pretty breathtaking parts like like the fluttering guitars and the atmosphere here are stunning and beautiful but it goes on for six minutes and I don't know who needed that, but I sure didn't. So yeah, this is like the quietest, most solemn Pine Grove album to date. And to be honest, that's not necessarily completely a bad thing. We're getting some very quiet, introspective, and sharply penned tunes. And of course, because it's Pine Grove, the performances are super heartfelt and very engaging. However, a lot of these tracks lack the personality that drove me to this band in the first place, and I feel like just some of the magic is really dying here. That throwback indie sound isn't as refreshing as it was a few years ago. But I digress. There's a lot of good stuff here still, and Pine Grove still can pen a very sharp tune. I'm feeling a very light 7 on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you liked the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.